Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Today we are going to continue our lecture with a new topic, and this topic will cover and discuss on how to express the forces as a Cartesian vector and then determine their resultant. Okay, we have a three lesson outcomes of this topic. The first one to compare between scalar and vector to solve vector operations and resolve them into components and to analyze vector operations using coplanar forces systems so this is a comparison between the scalars and vectors scalar is about any positive or negative physical quantity that can specify uh, by its magnitude okay so based on this magnitude only however for vector is about magnitude and a direction so refer to this figure so p is a represent represent for the scalar and a is represent for the vector while the a required you to uh, identify the magnitude and its direction about 20 degrees so this is a coplanar forces in a scalar notation okay you can write based on this uh, resultant force f okay resultant force f f uh, fx equal to uh, fx equal to f cos theta and fy f sin theta while in a triangle uh, components cab okay so you can write fx f times a over c and f times b over c however for fy since the direction of f is uh, going uh, downward so negative is represent for the uh, directed along the negative y axis Okay, this is a Chattison vector notation. Okay, in Chattison uh, vector notation, you have to write a force vector equal to fx y i plus f y j. Okay, and i and j is represent for unit vector, while the f is a Chattison force vector. Okay, and uh, coplanar force resultants. Okay, since we have uh, three di uh, different forces, which is F1, F2, and F3, we have to resolve everything. And then in a X and Y direction, so you can combine both uh, three of forces here, F1, F2, and F3, into vector notation. While in a scalar notation, okay, it's easier because you you only need to resolve everything in x components and y components so if you look at here okay the frx okay frx is equal to this one f1x plus uh, minus f2x plus f3x this is one is frx equal to summation of fx and fry equal to summation of fy so based on this uh, we, we can uh, calculate the magnitude okay the resultant force equal to frx square plus fry square and the direction theta equal to up tangent fry over frx okay let's take a look on this example so the question here is about determine the x and y components of f1 and f2 acting on the boom shown in the figures Okay, express each force as a Chartism vector. So the first step, you have to uh, resolve the F1 and F2 into X and Y components. So the first step, okay, you have to assume that the right, uh, to the right is positive direction. So F1 X equal to, since the 200 to the left, so you have to put negative 200 sine 30 degrees Newton equal to negative 100 Newton okay so for the y direction so the upper is positive so f1y equal to 200 cos 30 degrees Newton equal to 173 Newton okay so we move to the uh, next force which is f2 so f2 x equal to 260 newton times 12 over 13 okay equal to 200 
40 newton okay and for the f2y equal to 260 newton times 5 over 13 okay you will get 100 newton okay since the f2y okay to the uh, downward so this is should be negative here is negative so and this one is negative as well so you have to uh, uh, put uh, express all these forces into a Chatterson vector so how to do it so you have to put f1 equal to since this is a vector so you have to put a small arrow on the f so equal to negative 100 i plus 173 j okay close bracket so you have to put newton and f2 vector equal to open bracket 240 newton eh, sorry i minus 100 j newton so this is the answer for the Chatterson vector. Okay, this is a second example of this topic. So the link in figures is subjected to two forces, F1 and F2. Determine the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So for the first step, okay, so since we have uh, the answer here, okay, the answer here is ask you to uh, show using scalar and vector notation. So you have to identify for both method. Okay, so for scalar notation, again you have to write to the right is positive direction f r is a resultant force in x direction okay so you have to uh, include everything f1 and f2 so you get 600 uh, cos 30 minus 400 sine 45 degrees so you get 236.8 newton and for the fr fy fry so you get 600 sin 30 degrees plus 400 cos 45 degrees so you get 58 2.8 newton okay so how to how to calculate the result of force so it just fr equal to okay uh, frx which is 236.8 square plus fry 582.8 square so you have square root so you get 629 newton and to calculate the theta okay theta equal to up tangent from 582.8 over 236.8 okay newton and then you will get 67.9 degrees okay this is an answer using the uh, scala notation so the answer is 6 to 9 newton for magnitude and the direction is 67.9 degrees however if you, if you want to express that answer into uh, Chatterson vector using the vector notation so you have to write f1 equal to 600 cos 30 degrees i plus 600 sine 30 j this is for vector f1 and vector f2 equal to okay negative 400 sine 45 i plus 400 cos 45 j okay 
okay and then uh, for resultant force vector equal to vector f1 plus vector f2 so you get bracket 236.8 i plus 582.8 j okay newton so this is answer resultant force in a Jatison vector this one that's all for today if you have uh, any problem regarding this topic so you can contact me through my email and my phone number thank you